Hello there, a very good morning and welcome to another edition of the Talk of the Town. Joining us this morning is former Deputy Speaker and also General Secretary of the United People's Freedom Alliance, Mr. Tilanga Sumadipala. A very good morning, Mr. Sumadipala, and welcome to the show. Good morning, Sharon. Uh, Mr. Sumadipala, just starting off uh, with uh, the political conundrum that we're in right now, everybody is just wondering what will Sri Lanka's fate be after the presidential election. I believe it was Minister Harin Fernando who said that the election will be held somewhere around the first week of October, uh, after which Sri Lanka will have uh, a new president or maybe even the current president re-elected. But uh, my question to you is, uh, given your years of political experience here in Sri Lanka, uh, what do you feel like would happen at the presidential election? Where are the winds blowing towards right now? Well, if you look at from the public point of view, more than 80% of the people are not happy with the current government. Whoever is in power, come what may, people will vote against the current incumbent leadership mm. and the government of Sri Lanka. Mm. That is a fact. So whether you are forming current president, Ranil Vikramasinghe, as their candidate or anyone else, as long as you are representing Pohotua run government which is in power right now, no chance. So if it is minimum 80% of the people who are against the government, they'll have to find a candidate within the opposition. Mm. So the uh, other side of the coin, there's Ranil, uh, there's Sajid Premadasa and obviously Anru Kumar Dishanayaka, the two candidates who are in the opposition. So if you look at the base value point of view, for a general election, it is very clear. Uh, you know, uh, we all will get together as an alliance and we will also form a uh, candidate from uh, SLAP and U UPFA members point of view. So we will form a candidate. So there will be three part, three opposition uh, candidates from the, uh, for that 80% representation. Hmm. But other side of the coin. So when you say if, three opposition candidates, you mean the, the NPP one side, then the SJB. And the SLFP, and UPFA, whatever that faction. Precisely. That is what I'm saying about the opposition. Okay. Interview. Then, of course, if Ranil, or current president, uh, if Ranil Vikram Singh is going to come from the government side of it, there will be four. Hmm. That is where it is at the moment. Hmm. Things will change. So, if that is the case, I mean, uh, it's very clear. The government in power me out means uh, for a presidential election, people will not want to hand over this government once again for a person who has never let or be part of a cabinet or at least the leader of the house or opposition leader or the prime minister or former some kind of a personality who has been with the proper leadership. We've suffer, suffered enough with that uh, with hmm. uh, uh, under uh, His Excellency Gauravi Rajpaksa. So they were for... But the SLFP also supported him. Of course, of course. Uh, we, I mean, uh, we, we, we regret. Uh, hmm. we, we really... Uh, we thought he's the man at that time and we made a, uh, we are all sad uh, with that decision in vain all our efforts that is the anger most of our people have on the ground ground level hmm. and therefore that is the string you know if we contest we will have uh, 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 some kind of a support uh, which will hmm. uh, regroup our team what I'm going to say here is obviously government led candidate will get defeated hmm. there's no doubt uh, within the opposition uh, candidates, uh, whoever are we forming one, or are we going to ally uh, or we, we go with the alliance with uh, mm, mm. with Anur Kumar Dishanayak or Sajid Premodas? Uh, mm. uh, there is a possibility, mm. uh, but not with SLFP though. Mm. Uh, there are some some of the people in in within our uh, parties uh, who are with us are saying that uh, either we contest alone mm. or some are saying let's work with Anur Kumar Sanayaka. Mm. Someone said, no, no, no chance working with them because mm. they have been like this in the past and mm. they have done mm. so much damage to us, uh, killed our people and so on and so forth. They don't want to touch. Mm. But as far as Sajid Premadas is concerned, there is no big gap between uh, our alliance group and Sajid Premadas because he's also against Ranil Vikram Singh. He's also one man said no to Rajapaksa's point blankly. Mm. He's one fellow who been, you know, uh, with the, with the, you know, uh, 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 very clear vision uh, saying look uh, let me have a clear mandate and he was pushing for democracy in this country so I think there is a you know uh, positives and negatives uh, let's wait and see 
So is is your leader also of the same opinion or does he think otherwise? Well, as far as uh, former president Maitri Pala Sirisena is concerned, he has to make a call whether he wants to uh, come back and uh, give a try and contest mm. or whether he wants to work with this government or no, whether he wants to work against this government or no, or whether he wants to you know, you know, uh, work with an alliance uh, mm. led by Sri Lanka Freedom Party mm. and to make sure that our candidate get get a chance of winning. Mm. Mm. So uh, those are things will uh, you know uh, happen over a period of the next few weeks and months. Hmm. Uh, I can't see anything uh, is very clear for anybody hmm. uh, until uh, mid May or early June. Okay, that's that's uh, where uh, the situation. That's when the people will take a serious stand, and the general public will know where um, the political establishment at the current point stands. It's not that the government is so unpopular. People in the government feel they are not, hmm. but people are quiet because they don't want to discuss and you know show their face at the moment. Until the right time, hmm. this is like the 1977 election. Hmm. 1975, NM Perra, Dr. NM Perra, and Colin Adesila was sacked by Sir Mao Bandar Naik government. Hmm. 75 to 77, we put uh, 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 Honorable Felix Dias Bandar Naik as the finance minister and ran for two years. Hmm. Then what happened? We lost by six uh, uh, huge thumping majority. UMP came back to power. Hmm. So similarly, five sixth, five sixth majority, in 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 similar to what happened with Gotabe bringing uh, Basil Rajapaksa into the finance ministry, sacking Vimal Gambapilla and all the left people out of it, hmm. and taking to, so total control into his hand. This is the first election after that we are facing. Hmm. Therefore, people who put uh, Rani Vikram Singh into this position, as well as people who have been. Hmm. Uh, Working with Rajapaksa family will be put into one box by the masses of this country, and they'll all vote against them. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Dilanga Sumathi Pala, former Deputy Speaker and General Secretary of the UPFA, for joining us this morning. It's back to the morning fix on Yes One O One.